Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So it seems like all hell has broken loose now, guys. Ever since What the Health made it onto Netflix, there's every day a new story online, a doctor video, someone trying their best to debunk the claims made in What the Health. Well, I'm gonna address this one from Vox Magazine, written no less by their senior health correspondent, Julia Bellas. She accuses the movie of having a narrow view of science using just cherry-picked studies. Well, let's see some cherry-picking here. I hate when people say that. Dr. Garth Davis, he was featured in the film, and this is his book, Proteinaholic. He's an actual medical doctor. And in the back of his book, he has nearly 50 pages of references, scientific studies, peer-reviewed science here, about 700 of them in all. This is actual science. Julia, this is not cherry picking. All right, her first complaint about the movie is just downright silly. Eating meat is as bad for you as smoking cigarettes. Nowhere in the movie did they make that claim. They said they were on par with each other, which is true. They have equal footing in the sense that the World Health Organization has classified them both as group one carcinogens, which means that they are known carcinogens. Not possible, maybe carcinogens, known carcinogens. Doesn't mean that they will all give you cancer just this, at the same rate. For instance, asbestos is on that same list and same with plutonium. Well, sit next to some asbestos for a few minutes, for a few years, you're probably not gonna get cancer. However, sit next to some radioactive plutonium, it's a bunch more carcinogenic, watch what happens. Number two, eating one egg a day is as bad for you as smoking five cigarettes a day. She finds this idea completely nutty and absurd because smoking is one of the most dangerous human activities. How could eating an egg be on par with that? And she says it just out of date, doesn't reflect the current understanding of cholesterol and health. Well, let's get back to this study about cholesterol, eggs, and longevity, what it does to your life. The Harvard Nurses Health Study found that the daily consumption of the amount of cholesterol found in just a single egg appeared to cut a woman's life short as much as smoking 25,000 cigarettes, five cigarettes a day for 15 years. Following up on that research, a study in the journal Atherosclerosis found that just three eggs or more a week was associated with a significant increase in artery-clogging plaque buildup in, the, in people's carotid arteries going to their brain, a strong predictor of stroke, heart attack, and death. In fact, they found a similar exponential increase in arterial plaque buildup for smokers and egg eaters. I kind of wonder though, why are you so friendly towards eggs? Well, look at how the egg board reacted when confronted with these studies. The executive director of the egg board's egg nutrition center proposed they contact some of our friends in the scientific community to have an objective, external source author the response. If you do so, he wrote to one of their friends at Yale, we'll certainly compensate you. Does make me wonder, are you one of these compensated friends? Anyway, let's get to your next point here, that drinking milk causes cancer. You're just totally against this notion whatsoever, citing how they produce just little single studies. Well, on the facts page of What the Health, they list no less than five studies here, and there's more to it than that. And next she pulls out her most shady move of all here. She says, a systematic view of the best available research shows there's no consistent link. Well, let's click that link to see what they're talking about, about no consistent link. So if you go and look at what the meta-analysis was of, it was looking for a correlation between drinking dairy and lung cancer. Like, that's not even, that was never even mentioned in the movie, getting lung cancer from drinking dairy. This isn't smoking cigarettes, we're talking about milk. You should be looking more for breast cancer or prostate cancer. And sure enough, one of those five studies listed by What the Health, that study shows that there is an increased risk for getting prostate cancer when consuming milk. And it's more than just the milk that can give you cancer too. Check this out with regards to breast cancer. What was the response to the revelation that as many as 37% of breast cancer cancer cases may be attributable to exposure to bovine leukemia virus, a cancer-causing cow virus found in the milk of nearly every dairy herd in the United States? And that shows what, what the health is really all about, driving home the notion of all these pretty much unknown to most lay people and doctors, all the possible ways of getting sick from eating animal products, right down to the contaminants in the animal products. 
For one serving of processed meat raises your risk for diabetes by about 50%. Well, she takes issue with that. She cites another meta study, which claims it's more like 20%. So I want to go and check out this study she refers to. And okay, not only do they find a connection between eating processed meat and diabetes, there's also a connection with coronary heart disease. So further proof of what we're talking about, that eating animal products isn't particularly healthy for you, which is the point of what the hell. Your own study here proves that point. And just because your preferred meta study found just a 19% increased risk for diabetes doesn't mean it's absolutely true. The study that What the Health referred to indeed found a 51% increased risk for diabetes. So either way, it's an increased unnecessary risk that we don't have to take. We don't need to eat animal products. Number five, fish is toxic, which was clearly demonstrated in What the Health, particularly with regards to mercury. Well, her only response here is that not all fish are created equal when it comes to mercury. Well, that may be true. However, what about the dietary intake of PCBs and organochlorine pesticides in children and adults. Fish, fats, meat, cheese, eggs, dairy, poultry. Same sources for children. What about DDT? Again, mostly fish. You know, everything eventually kind of flows into the sea, though our children get a bit more DDT drinking milk than adults. Despite all that DDT and PCB in fish, Julia feels that we must eat fish to get those precious omega-3 fatty acids. Well, I made a video about this last year, and that notion is complete rubbish. You can get all the omega-3s you ever could possibly need from eating plant foods, seeds, flax seeds in particular. So from what I can tell here, this Julia is just recommending the kind of standard diet you see suggested by TV doctors. You've heard this before. Oh, eat more fruits and veggies. Like, who's not going to say that, huh? Maybe Z-Dog. Anyway, and they'll also say, well, eat maybe a little bit less, but keep on eating your group 1 and group 2A carcinogens, your processed meats and your red meats, and keep on eating fish, despite them being filled with mercuries, um, PCBs, and DDTs. That's okay, because you got to get the omega-3s. I don't understand what's so hard to, to grasp about the message of what the health, that you don't need to take these unnecessary risks in your health and with the ecology of our planet in order to get all the food, all the nutrients that you need. It's all there in plant foods and you're not rolling the dice getting you know, colorectal cancer, coronary heart disease, diabetes, the list goes on. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. Have you been seeing more of these debunkings of what the health now? They seem to be increasing by the day. I think, you know, it's hitting a real nerve out there. Like the meat and dairy industry is scared and they're like, you know, calling on their friends to help them out here. So what do you think about that? Is this one of their friends here? Um, if you got some out of this video, hit like. Let me know that you like these expose type videos and I'm very happy to do them. So until next time, Julia, watch some more of our channel and learn how to keep it carb, baby. Keep it carb. Stay. I'm